After a year of battling losses, families are anxious to be together this holiday season. This Christmas is going to be different, but that doesn't mean it cannot be merry. The Ica Society of Loreto College has put up their annual Christmas pageant in hopes of keeping this Christmas spirit alive this year round. Oh, look at all these lovely people gathered here. I think they have come to celebrate the best time of the year with us. Yes, Christmas is the best time of the year. I love the chill in the air, the smell of cakes and cookies, and the melodious carols being sung all around. Oh, and what about Santa Claus? He will come riding on his sleigh and leave us wonderful presents under the Christmas tree. But... Haven't we all forgotten about the most important reason for the season? It is Jesus. Jesus is the reason for the season. This was a long, long time ago when the Son of God was born as a little baby in a stable which took place on that beautiful starry night. Over 2,000 years ago, God sent the angel Gabriel to a virgin named Mary, who was pledged to be married to a carpenter named Joseph. The angel then came to her and said, Greetings, you highly favoured one. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. You will soon give birth to a son, and you shall call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. Mary said to the angel, How can this be possible? I am a virgin. The angel replied, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and therefore the child you give birth to will be called Holy the Son of God. Mary said, I serve the Lord. May his will be done. And the angel departed from her. The angel then appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for the child which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call him Jesus for he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up from his sleep, he did just as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took Mary as his wife. In those days, Caesar Augustus, the first emperor of Rome, issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. Everyone was ordered to return to the city where they were born to have his name enrolled. So Joseph also went up to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be enrolled with Mary, who was with child. When they reached there, the time came for her to give birth. They knocked at every door for a little room, but they found no room in Bethlehem. 
no one was willing to give the weary Joseph and Mary a place to rest until finally a kind innkeeper listened to the plea and gave them a place to rest in the stable. There, amidst the cattle, the saviour of mankind, Jesus was born. Mary wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. Round yon virgin, mother and child, holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace. Meanwhile, in a field far away, the shepherds were keeping watch over their flocks by night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and glory of the Lord shone around them. The shepherds were filled with fear, but the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for I bring you good news. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountains that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds can't be watching, O silent flies by night. Behold, throughout the heavens, there shone a holy light. The mountain over the hills and everywhere I go. Tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. When the angel departed from them, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. So right away, they hurried to look for Jesus and found Mary, Joseph, and the little baby lying in the manger, just as the angel had said. And they glorified and praised God for all they had heard and seen. And wise men from the east, coming to know about the birth of Jesus, came to worship him, following the star which led them to the stable. They brought gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh for the newborn king. And so the saviour of mankind, the lord of heaven and earth, took birth in a humble stable amidst the lowly cattle. God became man and dwelt among his people. He was Emmanuel. God is with us. Suddenly a host of angels appeared and rejoiced in the heavens, celebrating the glory of our Saviour's birth. Lord, we ask you to grant us peace. Peace in our hearts, peace in our homes, and peace in our churches. Especially now when the world all around us spins out of control. Amen. With this, we have come to the end of our Christmas party. On behalf of the Ica Society, I would like to thank 
our principal, Sister Christine Kutina, for giving us this opportunity to present the Christmas pageant to the online world. I would also like to thank Mrs. Ingrid Rosario for constantly helping and guiding us. To all the participants for taking active participation in such a short notice, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a very happy New Year. At the near close of the year, when in the globe over, the pandemic has disrupted life, people have lost their loved ones, an uncertainty has loomed and in Bengal, the Amphan struck severely. We still have so much to be grateful for and to count our blessings. For the Lord has been gracious to us. At Christmas, when we thank God for sending his only son with a message that exhorts us to love each other, to live in gratitude to God for his goodness to us, and especially at this time when so many languish under the impact of the deadly virus, to respond to the call to reach out to the needy. We pray for hope in all hearts, for the challenge we face has a purpose. We pray for wisdom to see the hand of God in our lives. We pray that peace will prevail despite anxiety, for with God all things are possible. May the Divine Infant, whose birth we celebrate today, his Blessed Mother and Saint Joseph find a home in our hearts today and all the year through. I would like to thank Mrs. Ingrid Rosario, our Raikafas, for having painstakingly prepared the Christmas pageant. May light that Christ symbolizes brighten our lives. Happy Christmas to each of you and to your families. God bless.